just thought I'd make this short clip here, record this short clip to, uh, to make livestock farmers aware of the situation for dog owners, responsible dog owners, uh, when it comes to controlling their dogs around livestock. And it doesn't just have to be livestock farmers, it can be anybody who's involved in the care of animals whilst those animals are in their care, uh, particularly animals that are vulnerable to predation or attack from dogs. And here's the thing, here's what you need to be absolutely aware of. As far as the animal welfare charities, the veterinary association, the government is concerned, the experiences of your livestock, of your ground nesting birds, of your swans, of your llama, your alpaca, all of those experiences are secondary to the momentary experiences of the dog. Okay, the principal thing that these organisations are concerned about, and you have a look, go and have a look on the Kennel Club site, have a look on Dogs Trust, have a look on the RSPCA, have a look on the British Veterinary Association, have a look on Battersea, have a look on DEFRA, and what you will see is a core message, which is that dogs must be trained with reward-based methods. Dogs must be trained with positive dog training, positive reinforcement, positive experiences. Dogs cannot be allowed to experience a negative. Dogs cannot be allowed to think that it's bad to go near your livestock, that it's bad to attack your birds, their eggs, that it's bad to go and bite the hind legs of your ponies, your horses. They cannot experience that because that would be negative and negative is wrong. Instead, owners are being told, in fact, they're nigh on being forced to train dogs purely with the only thing that matters being the momentary experience of the dog at that time. Okay, forget about your animals. It doesn't matter if they're ripped to pieces. All that matters, if you think I'm lying, go on their websites and have a look. And what you will see is reward, reward, reward for the dogs. This is wrong. This is wrong. Animals do not learn to avoid attacking and destroying other lives and livelihoods through the use of reward alone. It's fairy tale, it's dangerous, and it's highly irresponsible. But nothing will happen unless you speak. We at the Association of Responsible Dog Owners are banging this drum as loud as possible. But if we bang it on our own, then you're going to get steamrolled and you are going to see a massive increase in attacks because the electronic training collar, for example, is a tool that is under huge threat as being taken away. So are other training tools, so are other training methodologies as this reward-based only ideal, this ideology is steamrolled out across the general public with your, the lives and your livelihoods, the lives of your animals and your livelihoods being collateral damage. It's disgusting.